guys, it is Sunday, April 30th, the last day of April, I believe, because the 30 days has September, April, June, yeah, okay, yeah, last day of April, and, you know, guess what, my first Sunday in a while, well, first Sunday that I really think of in a while, you know, it's just going to be, again, a random sit-down, talk, and vlog, it's just, I had a little on my mind, like, not so serious, more comical, and I could have made another video on its own, but it, it wouldn't have enough material to really make a video of its own. It's just, as I said, today pretty much went like the normal, my computer, eating supper, whatnot. Then I was downstairs with Kathy, obviously, you know, my aunt that I live with. She was watching a movie, and I don't know who of you watched this movie. Could be quite a few of them. Could quite a few of you. But the movie was Shark Night. It, a horror, you know, or, you know, where a shark goes and kills people, not Jaws, obviously, just some other, I didn't see the whole thing, so I don't quite understand what's going on, but gory and bloody and everything, that's all, from what I've seen, that's all I know, and what the thing is, is that the ending of it, well, the ending itself was okay, like, what you would expect, think, think of things are peaceful, I know, spoilers, think of things are peaceful, and a shark just goes, you see the inside of its mouth like it attacks. That part, what would be expected of that? But then not long after the credits, credits which were incredibly short for a movie, came this rap number with all the cast of the movie. Now, I was like to my aunt, you know, that tone just does not feel right. And it even said the cast of, like, that. So it's still kind of part of the ending, you know, like, with the movie or something. I said, that tune just does not fit. Like, this, like, after this whole serious situation where there's two survivors and a dog, I guess three, then it comes, and possibly a death because of the, the ending implication, suddenly comes this rap, like, stay out of the, okay, yeah, I guess the message is fair enough with the theme of the movie, but th just the tone of it, it... Everyone looked like they're having a good time, and I'm like, I was like, this is a good example. Like, I just found that did not quite fit the movie. It made it sound kind of silly. At the end of it, you watch all this gory, like, bad things happening, and ho the horror and everything, and then suddenly, the only thing, I'm like, what would have happened if A Nightmare on Elf Street ended with lullaby and goodnight? Okay, that might actually fit in the content of it's someone trying to sleep and not sleeping. But the point is, from a, a really scary movie that prevents you from sleep to have a nice soothing lullaby at the end of it. Like, that would just throw you off. Like, like I mean, okay, I know this is a little silly and a little nitpicky. And I don't often really nitpick very much. But... What a way to ruin a tone. I mean, okay, yes, I'm not saying... Like, my aunt actually said to me, well, after all that, I think that's kind of good. Good change of tone. Like, I suppose she saw the whole movie, so maybe to her, like, it just, it grosses her out. It's something different like that would be a good change or a good, like, ruining, a good tone. Like, but it... Just to me, it's kind of silly. I mean, if you were... Like, or, if you, another example is if you were watching Scream, and the, the horror is high on there, right, and suddenly from all this horror music and all the stabbing to, la, 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 you know, something like that, like, like, any horror movie is a good example for that, putting, like, at the end of it a very light, it's okay, it's okay, tone. Like, that's just the way I feel about that situation, like, everyone else is back and la-la-la-la, keep out of the... Okay, yeah, that message is... Okay, but, I mean, imagine if Scream did that la-la-la tone saying, La-la-la-la-la-la-la, never trust anyone with masks. That still wouldn't make my point. Now I'm making myself laugh, but that is... Kind of how I feel about that ending to Shark Night, like, that little, that little rap music video or whatever it was like it's kind of silly right I suppose my examples were a little more silly I'll admit but I'm just saying my point is that it just didn't fit in this situation like like 
I mean, I know there's different tones in movies, right? But if the tone went, was inconsistent throughout the whole movie, which I don't know whether it was, so I w can't say for it, if it was a mix of, oh, good moments and, oh, horror moments, then maybe I could give it, like, give it that. But it's supposed to be a horror movie, and if after a horror movie comes a la 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 la, kind of throws you off. I mean, a commercial is different, right? Because commercials aren't tied to that movie. And I also said that, like, to my aunt that the credits seem like a credit of a TV show or an episode because it just seems so short. I guess they were making time for that music video of theirs. Like I said, I'm not saying the movie may not have been good itself. Like, it was it was disgusting. Like, even I, like, I, I don't often get too upset about gore very much, but that, even for me, was... I think, for me, I'm not so bad with cartoonish gore. Or, like, The Walking Dead gore, for example, I seem to be able to stomach pretty easily, actually. But anything real-life-looking, that is where I don't... Like, I mean, I don't mind blood, the sight of blood, at all. Like, some people can't even get blood work without that problem. I have a family member like that, that they need to lay down to get it done and have their eyes shut. For me, I don't mind the sight of blood, like, in especially in a context, a con, ten, tense, like blood work, like that's the biggest thing. But gore and like everything else besides the blood, that is where I kind of weak. But that's normal and that's good because if you just stood there, fascinated by the sight of like the inner trails and blood. There'd be a problem there. Like, I mean, my aunt, there was a dog, and my aunt thought he was killed, like he was thrown over because he was sick. Turns out he was one of the ones that helped save the final two. I'm like, it's alive? Actually, she told me not to look, too, because that part would be more bothersome. She thought the shark was coming after it, I guess. But I gotta think of one thing if the shark didn't go after the dog, then he must be alive, or he might have drowned anyway. But I guess that dog's smart. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring that up. It was in an interesting thought in my mind. Like, I'm not saying that, like, it, it's, the movie is, it doesn't really throw off the movie. This is more funny in a sense of the word. I'm not saying the music video probably wasn't good, but in the context the situation it was in, threw it off. But what did you, what is your opinion on those scenarios? Do you find that if something, like, cheerful or something off mood comes off on after you watch something, does it change your mood of it? Well, let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, hey guys, it is Tuesday, May 2nd, and sorry I didn't really update you Monday or this morning. I went to work, and I actually did pretty well. Didn't have art today. Hopefully things will be sorted out for next week. Like, there was a lot going on. Also, I ordered two more things, but this time I'm not necessarily keeping them a secret. They're not as, like, important as this other order that I ordered. What I ordered were two what they call fidget toys. And one is the fidget spitter, which a lot of you probably see nowadays. And one is called the fidget cube, which is a little easier than the spinner. The spinner, like, as I said, I've seen it too on, like, on the daily bumps in different areas. And mainly what fidget toys are, like, anyone can use it. Any one, any adult, no matter what, they can all enjoy it. The spinner specifically, but what they're mainly used for are for individuals with special needs like ADHD, autism, or stress, anxiety, like those type of issues. And what you do, what it's supposed to do is you're supposed to to fidget. You know, like if some, for example, if someone would stem or, for example, or move in their seat, something like a fidget toy will help them get some of their urges out. And I'm hoping, too, like, it looks fun, too. Like, not just that. I'm not lying about that. But it looks like it's something that might help relieve a little, might stress a little bit. Specifically at night. Now, yes, I, like, once I'm at work, I'm usually okay, right? Like, even if it's something I bring just for the car or during the night. Like, to get my mind off of, like, what's going on. Like, I figure, like, I was thinking of one for a while, but then I found these ones on eBay for seven dollars altogether 
maybe 10 at the most if it has tax or anything, but it only said so much. So, they're probably not coming at the same time because they're each, like, different areas. So, yeah, it'll take a while to get there, too, but hopefully... This is, I never ordered from eBay for a long time, so I hope this works out. But altogether, it's only $7 for both, so it isn't as big of a deal. But I hope I get them, because that's something that might help me a little bit. But I said work was, was okay today. Bart wasn't there, which is a first. Like, wow. But I said it was a pretty quiet day. I did some paper, like, well, not shredding, well, they call it shredding, but it's just pretty much pulling the bingo cards apart, pretty much, and we watched a documentary on, like, a, on a people who are trying to live, like, a dollar a day type of thing. They go to, I think, I forget what country it is, but it's a country that is pretty poor, where they're lucky if they get a dollar, or if they're lucky if they get more than a dollar, too. So, like, it's interesting. I didn't get to see the whole thing, but it is on YouTube. Maybe I'll finish it and, or watch it from the beginning for I can hear it and understand it better. But it looks like a pretty interesting one. But imagine, though, being somewhere where the water is a chance to be dirty and bugs in it. And kids not really being able to be kids. Well, and, well they some situations it shows they are. But, and sometimes it shows them, like, playing soccer or something along that line. But it also shows them working in the fields. And some not even being able to get their education and go to school. And it shows how much we do have. Like, what I pay for my ice cap two times a week is, like, five times more almost than what people get every day. Like... Yet, that whole time I'm thinking, I'm hungry. I don't know what is wrong with me, but at the same time, I do understand where they're coming from. It's about four, well, two guys, particularly with two film crew guys, but four all together going to that country and living by that, that, like, circumstance, almost. Yet, they have a little bit of money, but they don't really use it like they would if they were in their country. Like, they, they sparsely use it on things they need for, like, the whole week. So, it's smart. Like, I'm pretty much saying that, but I wonder if they're going to survive. That's what I wonder, because, I mean, heck, I I know if I was out there, I would live a day. Okay, maybe, okay, I might give myself a day or two, but that's tops. And I'd say more a day and a half, because I might survive the night, but in the one day... Then I'd be crazy. Pfft. Like, I'm not really good at new situations as it is. I'm lucky to be able to get into the car and go to work. I mean, I give them those guys props. And they're doing it for no real, what is it, benefit. Like, in a way. And they're will even if there was a little benefit, they're willing to risk. And they're willing to share. Like, they're doing it just to really find out and learn themselves what it's like. And that's like, the ma one thing I admire is that they're able to go and do it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I suppose it took them planning, as it said, but they still planned it, done it. I just wish I had those type of abilities to just really sit down and think things through properly and then do something that I want to do. But for me, that is difficult, just to say the least. But I can't think of what else to say. I got the, I did get uh, the review I want to get done done, which I'm proud of myself. Hopefully, it'll get easier. I, I might, as I said, you might not get reviews every month, but I'm trying to, like, when I do the review, I want to give it as best justice as I can. So if you miss a month and there's one the next month, then hopefully that one will be better. Because I don't plan for my channel be to make to be mainly that. Just like right now, I don't want it to be mainly Let's Plays either. Well, it is more Let's Plays than anything, but I want to make my channel more of a variety. And also, when I do get those items that I told you about, I'm going to maybe do a little review. Maybe that'll be my unboxing or whatever, you know, for the channel or one of them. 
So I said, like, it, it'll be interesting, because I wonder if this will help me a little bit in different situations. Like, sometimes you just need to just do nothing. Right? Just sit and look at something spin. And not that I'll be doing that 24-7, but it's something that if you if I need to give my mind a break instead of going to a video or going to play a game or something like that, I could just kind of sit there and do it. Or do the fidget spinner or whatever I use. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, May 3rd. I, for, I think the last few, few days I said April when I wasn't supposed to. If I did, I apologize, but I pretty much could record a couple of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, you know, rescue team build-ups for you guys. I also did my first For Better or For Worse vlog in a long A time, which will be out tomorrow on Friday. I'm gonna get back into doing them as often as I can. Now I can't. I'll say like I'll like a lot of other things. I can't say how long it's gonna be, like the, how it's gonna go on. But I'm trying to mix up my style of content a little bit. And I thought I really do. Like I'm going to bed soon, but I thought I might make a few videos. Pokemon Sun will come back. It's still gonna be there for a while. I'm not giving up on that. Just. The, same with The Walking Dead. I actually recently recorded some, obviously. I don't know why, but I'm... I ordered something, and I don't know why I'm just waiting for it, sort of. It may make a difference. It may not. But if not, then I'll go back to recording Pokemon Sun. Just simple as that. There's not much I could really say, because I'm going to record, and it's harder to record both this and that. So, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next clip. Hey, guys, it is Thursday, May 4th. And I officially hate being a adult. Well, we'll just say, you know how I'm trying to get in to be evaluated for whether it's autism or whatever it is. Just to be tested. Because I really need to know what's going on with one, my anxiety, like, how I mean, how bad my anxiety is, me just being stuck in my own little world, like, all these, these traits I have, and I thought I was on the right track, the doc our doctor will call her, will just say the FP, FP, family pediatrician, or you know what I mean, the, yeah, the FP said that they got the referral in to mental health where I am, like the area where I am. So I called them one day and they said it didn't go through and they didn't have any referral, like whatever, so it must not have went through or something. And they told me to call FP again. So I call FP and we'll just say secretary, which is a secretary, answered and they said no problem jazz we will get it right through so i give them like about maybe not even a full week four days give or take i call mental health again and they said sorry we have nothing with jazz like your name like my, i gave my real name in that particular which is haley obviously but they said no one put it a referral and you should call your doctor again <sighs> which at this point I'm already a little annoyed so I called FP again apparently they're on vacation till May 15th now you'll think it you're thinking well that's just a week and a half maybe it's not bad no it isn't but think about it it's hard enough when I call them I get like tw two times that it's, I've been told a referral either went in or it's going in and turns out nothing is there. Now I have to wait 15 days again just to try. Or no, like like a few, like a week or so again just to try. Now, in where I live, anyone that is 18 and older has to do everything themselves that way. No one can make an appointment or referral in for you. 
and to see psychiatry, which I need, you need a doctor's referral. You can't make yourself make a self referral. So this, it could take years. It could take weeks. It could be very quick. It all depends. Like if unless you're on the verge of trying to take your own life or you're hurting yourself really badly or others, there's no way that you can get in without a doctor's referral and not fast at that. Now I know, like I know, everyone has to wait. That that's not a problem. Like I understand that, but it just seems like. I'm getting nowhere. Because the thing is, before I see a psychiatrist, I have to have a something, an assessment appointment. Or what they call it. I forget what they call it. So, I'm not even close to that appointment. Let alone seeing a psychiatrist to see what is wrong. And it's hard enough when someone is doing it for you, but you still have to wait. But when you constantly do everything yourself, make that time... To properly call say, look, I need this. And it's, I always like to my aunt, it's either the mental health or, or FP that is pulling me off. Like, because, because they said, like, I've seen FP for years. Since I was, like, a baby, I think. And, yes, some people are off by it by FP, right? Are like kind of taking it back, but as much as something since as much as sometimes I joke, right? I wouldn't think that they would do this to me. So I'm starting to wonder if what mental health is up to. Like and I'm not saying that's like that's the problem with mental health these days. They I don't know if they would take things seriously. But, I mean, it could just be a big misunderstanding. It could be F part of FP's fault, too. It could be the fax machine's fault. Like, the first time I was brought to another area to check about referrals. And this time, I wasn't even brought to that desk. Like. That's what you have to do. Part of the things you have to do when you grow up. You have to really think about doing those type of things and talking for yourself and understanding things and that is really difficult but as much as I love to do so I can't just go ask this and hide under a blanket for the rest of my life even though I lay on bed for most of the time I mean I can't just build a fort and hide in it like how some people joke on Facebook I'm officially done with being an adult as much as I am a big kid, what I mentioned before cannot happen. Like, and the way I think is the only way I can move forward is to know what's wrong. And it's like, think of it this way. Yes, of course, like, it's an appointment. It's for psychiatry. And some people say, well, it'll come, right? Well, it's not just an appointment to me. It is a chance to get answers. And imagine if you have to wait years and years and years for answers that could initially change your life. And there's a lot of other people worse shaped than I am. And, like, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, too. So, that's something to bring up. I would have made my opinions on it, but, for one, this is the month for Mental Health Awareness, and I already believe I have my opinions either this month or recently. So... This will be more of vlog style. And maybe I'll make a quick video later. But where has our mental health system gone? Not that it was really great to begin with. But it's been a bit better before. Like I made this joke with my aunt saying. What are they? What do they do? Get my referral and say. Well she doesn't sound like she needs enough help. Or, she doesn't look like she really needs any help. So let's just put this to the sun and say we didn't get it. Next. Okay, I don't know. I would hate for that to be true. It's joking aside. I'd hate for that to be true because that would be very unprofessional of them. Even if they say they got my referral, they wouldn't have had to put me to the top. But it would be nice to know some that would be happening sometime. That's all I want to know. Right? 
but not being even considered on the list for the list. And I will say that maybe my aunt and I could have went a little earlier after what happened with the psychiatrist I told you about. I don't know if I did yet. But at that time, like, a lot was going on. I was just going to Summer Street and we weren't even thinking, which we'll partly blame ourselves for. But right now I've been doing nothing, like, when I was, like, but trying. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I just had to get that out. It's been a rough day that day, so let's hope eventually I'll get some answers, even if it's in a few weeks, a month. Anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys! Today sort of got better. Package arrived. And I double-checked how to open it off camera because I knew how long it would be, so... Yes, it's upside down, but it's Power Saves Pro. It's for like the 3DS. Yes, I ordered a, for another action replay sort of thing. And I have to learn to handle it, but it, it's amazing. I gotta see, hopefully, it works out well. Hopefully, I got what I need it, whatever. I hope I didn't give away my past thing. But anyway, I want to make this very quick, so it'll either be a, or a, I definitely want this as my thumbnail now that I have it, on a Thursday. I'm so excited. I just came down not expecting it, but I looked and here it was. <sighs> anyway, guys, I'm going to test this out and I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, hey guys, things did not get better. I'm having some issues. The thing isn't working. Literally. This thing is literally like a piece of crap. And I spent $20 on it. Maybe I'll get another video based on this. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, I think it is Friday. I know it's Friday. I think it's May 5th. Yeah, it is. And yeah, I still didn't get that thing to work. I am a bit upset about it, but hopefully I'll be able to get in contact with them to get money back. But I'm starting to have doubts, like for sure whether or not I'll be able to. But anyway, originally I wasn't planning to go to work. I wasn't feeling good, but I thought I would push myself harder this time because it wasn't only my stomach, but it was still a little bit that was still a little bit upset about what happened. But then I thought, well, staying at home would probably make me worse. Because then not only would I have that not working, I would have been doing nothing, like, like seeing nothing today. And it would make me feel worse knowing that I could have done better if I felt better. So, like, I mean, my aunt wasn't responding when I told her I wasn't going, so. But it's funny, as soon as I said, okay, I changed my mind, I'm going. Okay, I'll be there at 1230. I'm starting to wonder. But anyway, I'm kind of glad she didn't answer. Though, to be in all seriousness. But as I said, I'll let you know, hopefully, I'll remember too how I did at work. So I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, it is Saturday, May 6th, and this is the ending part of the vlog. I'm trying to, like, my game thing still isn't working, so I'm trying to figure out how to return it, but I haven't gotten an answer back yet. I'm trying to talk to another person on eBay about one of my orders for the fidget spinner. I can't, she hasn't seemed to, sh he or she hasn't seemed to ship it yet. The hope so far the fidget cube is alright. Right, they shipped that like almost instantly. <sighs> oh yeah, and I forgot I was busy at work and I, like I had to leave later at work so I couldn't update. I did pretty good. I wasn't feeling very good. So it was one of the, it was a mixed day, right? I had moments where I was not feeling good and thinking, why did I go? Then there was moments where I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. It was one of those types. I also was on James Raven's, what of the Let's Draws again, like the live stream for like 
20 minutes about because it was the, near the ending of it. There wasn't really much done, really. Like, like I still need to record some Pokemon Sun because I'm running low on them. And I'm thinking of different ideas for videos, you know, as I go on because there's so many games that I want to play for the channel. Like, I have, like, I have a mixed opinion. One, I want to make my channel more than just a Let's Play channel. But also, there are games that would sound so much fun on the channel to have. But the thing is, I seem to really enjoy games a lot more when I'm playing them on my own. Like, and the thing is, I maybe I could pretend to play them on my own, but then that would be an awful boring, wouldn't it? So, I'm trying to figure out, maybe I'll make a list of games that I think I will stick to. And so forth. The thing is, though, from now on, if I can help it, any Let's Plays on the channel will be mostly done before I announce it or give you a choice for it. So I want to make it one of those choice videos, rather, that way we all choose together. Like the, like we did with the Digimon one. I have three other LPs that are done, so I have enough LPs for a little bit in some ways. But I'm also starting a few. I'm trying to really decide what, what I'll stick to to do a project on and sit through and do it. But I also have to focus on my, my Pokemon Sun, the Walking Dead Season 2, and the Pokemon Red Rescue Team. So you kind of see where my dilemma is, if anything. Like, I know I have hours on end, in a way, because I only go to work four hours a week now. But at the same time, like, as Nman64 said to me, it is best to do it when you're not really tired and when you have the energy and the charisma, you know what I mean, like, maybe he didn't use the word charisma, but you know what I mean, like, I get kind of the way what he means, like, they, if you can't enjoy it, neither will your audience, so, I'm trying to think of ways maybe I could plan, do a little bit of planning around it, that way, I could have options, like, I could see what is the biggest priority at the time, but then make a, like, a schedule for my day when I'm not working, and that way, if I, like, but still, what is it? A schedule, but not a rigid schedule. Not, like, a stuck tight schedule. I can make it so, like, I might want to play this game, record these many episodes or whatever, I could do that. Or if there's a moment where I just want to take, and I will still allow myself breaks in between to watch a video or something. That I, way I know I can have a little bit of a loosey, goosey, what they call it, schedule. <laughs> but as I said, like, I don't really know... What else to talk about? My aunt has her family there playing cards. Or they'll be there soon if they're not there now. Pretty sure they are. Some are there now. So I'm like, and you're probably thinking, well, why don't you go down and play with them? And well, you know me. And two, anything big like that I'd like to record. And there's probably some people who are camera shy. So, like, I pretty much have my own night in a way. What, which for me is a big improvement. Like, I may not be downstairs with them, but there was a time where I would be really rigid of having other people in the house. I don't know why, but I mean, like, my close, close family, like my aunt and uncle, uh, my, my other aunt and my uncle, they come in, not a problem. And there was a time, and it, and it still happens sometimes, I took a picture of her for one of my vlogs before, there's a time when my cousin and her mom sometimes come down for a week or so. I'm getting pretty good with that. But usually I'm not used to having a whole bunch of visitors, people here. But I've improved. I think we'll say I've improved in the way that I'm used to my aunt's family coming in and playing cards. And they're usually no bother to me. So I just let it go that way. So as I said, like... Jeez, now I forget what I was going to say. I'm debating still whether to do a video on that, you know, the the power saves, the fiasco, or not. I mean, it could really improve things, but I don't even know if I'm in the mood because I've already been through a lot with it. Like, imagine, though, like, like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Well, a good, one thing I could bring up is when I was on the live stream and talking, right? I brought this up to Manga ETC and I think his name is Disky 
Dave, or I apologize if I butchered your name, but I was talking to them about what happened, and like I was saying, I don't know, like I need what they call an RMA, I think it is a return, I forget what the M means, but it's a, but the A is authentication, or cation, or whatever, I need that, plus I guess a reasonable reason to return it. And I wasn't so sure about that. And Manga ETC said, well, they sold you a faulty product. That is more than authentic reason enough to want to get your money back or something around that. And, like, I know he's right. But, and I am trying. Believe you me. For some reason, like, they're not answering at all. I have, like, what, four more days that I can return it. Like, I messaged the two different areas, the support and the email, and I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to send it back, and even if then, I don't know if I'll ever see anything from it. If I do, I want to know, like, I'm trying to be in contact with them to know what's going on. And it, what's even worse is, it's just to change the subject for this millisecond. Same thing is going on with eBay so far, like, with the person I bought the fidget spinner from. I gave them a few days... They have it shipped. I just I messaged them yesterday. It seems like nothing is responding. Like, I do not know why. Like, you think, like, it's easier to get in contact with eBay. Like, the sellers on eBay, yet nothing. I mean, I can kind of understand the code junkie area. There's a lot of way, like, it's hard to get things through, I think. But, but anyway, guys, i got to edit this week's vlog, so... If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.